the farm is a place like no other. It's a place where I can have intimate gatherings of friends in the motocross community and just really enjoy what this place has to offer, which is a lot. It's a lot. My name's Chris Johnson, and I was born and raised in St. Petersburg, Florida, and I'm a real estate agent. I've been practicing real estate since 2005. My memories of having a fascination with dirt bikes goes back to two years old. I got my first bike when I was in seventh grade, and that's when my life, I would say, changed for the better. So I took a 12 year hiatus from, from motocross from age 28 until 40. And I just focused solely on building my career, building my client base. And um, well, let's just face it, I turned 40 and I think I probably had a midlife crisis. And I'm like, well, what am I doing for fun? And I realized I wasn't doing what I loved most in life and that was riding dirt bikes. Three years back into riding, I just I just wasn't satisfied with the tracks. Getting to any tracks that I felt like were worthy just took a long time to get there. And the local tracks, well, I had to ride around their schedules. You know, Wednesday night practice or Thursday night practice. So yeah, I just said, I'm gonna build my own track, not really knowing what I was getting into. <laughs> I, I was looking for about two years. Um, I wanted something close and I knew Dade City was the most viable uh, location. And when this place came up, um, I saw it and I came out here and I knew that it was gonna be a good spot in the sense of not bothering your neighbors with noise, um, mainly. So I, had, I got into a bidding war on this place. <laughs> I literally had to compete on the bid um, and compete strongly to get it. And uh, being in the business, I obviously knew what I had to do. I secured it, and, uh, and here we are. I embarked on building the track the following year. It was February 1st of 2019, and we had two months straight of you know, building the pad, which we raised the, the land up two and a half feet because we are in the middle of the FEMA floodplain here. So when the summer rains come, <laughs> it floods all around us for the most part. And we, and we got halfway done building the track itself and uh, Swift Mud, which is a, a state run governmental jurisdiction, they have jurisdiction over the FEMA floodplains. And they said, ah, you need to stop. You need a permit to do what you're doing. If you're digging and re, you know, replacing dirt, you need a permit for that. So we stopped, we uh, hired an attorney, an engineer, and we went through exactly one year. Uh, we got shut down on April 1st of 19. We started back up on April 1st of 2020, right as COVID began. And everybody was kind of stuck at home, not going out. And I was like, it's perfect. I could really focus on completing this project. And that's exactly what we did. So the timing worked out great with that. I had no idea what I was getting into. I just, I just had this dream, uh, or that, not dream, but I had this thought of, I wanna have my own track. That's all I knew. So I didn't know what I was getting into. I ended up hiring Brad Stone with 402 MX. I call him the Van Gogh of motocross tracks. The man just has an amazing vision and an amazing talent for seeing and building. We had two excavators running, um, digging the ponds, passing the dirt up. And so the one's digging it out of the pond, the other is um, putting it into the truck. And we had two trucks running. So they're, they're just spinning laps all day long, every day loading piles of dirt wherever Brad says, okay, here's where we're putting dirt now. And so yeah, he literally just told us where to dump the, <laughs> the dump truck loads of dirt and that's how it happened. And we had God, so many guys helping, so many good friends that are, you know, I call them crew members. They put in so much time and effort out here. Um, without them, this place wouldn't even be here. It wouldn't exist. Cause I never would have made it to the finish line. 
So we, we began April 1st of 2020 and we actually finished the first week, I would say May 7th of 2020. And that's when the, the track was completed. And uh, yeah, and then, yeah, we just started having fun. The whole goal was to have friends out here riding, enjoying the, the track um, and having the camaraderie. That's what, that's the best benefit of it is the camaraderie and um, I've met so many incredible people through this process and it's helped my business a lot. I, I mean, I've had several of these folks, uh, of these guys um, that I've met through the process that I've been able to help in real estate. So it's full circle. This is such a big part of my life and it is a dream come true. Although I can't say that having the track was a dream, but now that I have it, like I said earlier, it is a dream come true. Yeah, so I'm just here to enjoy it. <laughs>